Hi, my name's Dayton. I'm Sarah. And we're at the Orange Street Grid, Orange, California, and watching Fun for Louie. Boom. Good morning, guys. It is day one of our Toyota road trip back to San Francisco. The Wonder Wagon is waiting, but Kate is taking us out for some food before we head off because we've got a long drive. Get in the yeah. car, big boy. All right, breakfast time, yeah? How you doing, Kate? Good, welcome back. Oh, it's good to be back. I'm so happy to have you guys. It's a shame, it Ryan, it's a shame Ryan's not here. It's such a shame, I miss her. But she's having her own adventures in, <laughs> in Amsterdam right yeah, now. she is. where dreams happen. This is my lake <laughs> and the mountains. Maybe we should buy our own Ewok village in Jackson Hole. Okay. Lunch is done. Oh, I feel good. I feel ready to hit the road. So we're gonna head back and get all our gear in the Wonder Wagon and um, yeah, stop plotting a, a bit of a route. I think we're gonna head into Yellowstone National Park today. I think it's like this way. Is it? Is that the way? That way. Go hang out with the geezers. And the bears, hopefully. Bears and geezers. Maybe we can meet Yogi Bear. Dead and nearly dead season. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Perfect. Cool. Have a great Enjoy trip. your wedding. Right. Bye, guys. Kate is off. Thanks for letting us stay and thanks for looking after the Wonder Wagon. <laughs> right. Let's, do it, Let's take this bad boy back. <laughs> First stop, Yellowstone National Park. We're going to go to uh, Old Faithful, hopefully, which is the big, the massive uh, geyser that shoots water out of the ground. I've never actually been. Before. Have you been to Yellowstone before? No, but I love Old Faithful, mate. Yeah. Sounds good. I've only been to one geezer before, but this guy sounds like he's the proper geezer. Yeah, geezer. This is cowboy land. I love this town. There's actual cowboys just chilling. Are they the police? They're the police, bro. No, they're not. Shut up. That's the police. Shut your mouth. That's amazing. Oh my life! That is so cool! <laughs> it's because there's no crime here, so the police just get to chill. Before jumping on the road, we are stopping off for some supplies. Get in, bro. Do you think I can get in there? Yeah, I don't think. Two, I reckon. I'll... <laughs> no. <laughs> so I had some advice on eating vegan, and the advice I've been given is just eat all the bananas. So we're just going to buy lots and lots of bananas. Just my staple diet. I want to get the ones that haven't got green on them. Grab some dates. I'm basically Mr. Fruity now. What have you found, Dave? The biggest avos and their squish box central as well. Oh, these are ripe avos. Okay, we're getting some of them. Get some biggies. Guys, I'm going to get some almond butter, but it's $20. Is that normal? Why is it so much? Look, this is crunchy peanut butter. It's like $2. This is it, guys. This is it, bro. That is it. What, the little That's combo fries? special. <laughs> oh, maybe we should get that guy. <laughs> Go on then, Dave. You can get him. Have you ever seen a guy like this before? He can be our Flashy mascot. Froggy. He can be our mascot. Oh, he's got a big ball. He's got one big ball inside. Look. That's the flashy thing. Oh, yeah, it's the flashy thing. We are stocked up and ready to roll. Oh, we've got a little mascot. What should we name him, guys? What should we call that little guy? Is he flashing? He's gonna be fun at night. Oh, I like him already. I like him he's too. So, he's just so happy. He, and he's so squidgy, he's very huggable.
everybody. Hello. Do you have a pass yet? We don't know. No. Yes, yes, please. $50 gets you to both parks for seven days. Yikes. Even if we only want to go for the day. Yep. Take all my money. We've just pulled over because there's this just incredible lake here. And everyone's taking photos. We've arrived at our first geezer. This place is called West Thumb, apparently. And we've parked up and we're taking a little stroll down here. We've just been told there's a deer up ahead. A moose? Oh, is that a moose or a deer or an elk? I don't think it's a moose. Moose have the big, the big faces, bro. They have the big lips. He's got beautiful. Um, I think that's an elk. I think that's. I'm going to say. I'm going to throw this out there and say that's an elk. Yes, buddy. Yes, matey. Oh my gosh. Looks like a volcano's erupted. What do you think that is? Look at that, it's just immense. I've never seen anything like it, man. Doesn't it just make you think about the power of the Earth? Like, yeah, it's weird. The planet. It's so serene, so like chill, but then it's got this like fiery passion underneath. Yeah. That could absolutely destroy you. I think this is basically like a massive volcano waiting to happen. I don't I haven't we need to do a bit more research. You said you watched a video recently, didn't you? Yeah. I think it has erupted twice that we know of. In history. And yeah, and whacked everything when it did it. So basically it will extinct the whole earth if the volcano we're on top of blows at some point. I don't think it's due to blow for a while, so we're <laughs> okay. safe. We're safe. That's the best roundabout I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my gosh! What? It's proper splashing. Yeah. Bro, That's, that, is, that smells like eggy tarts. That is sulfur right there. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Hot tub time, Dave? <laughs> not today, or not now. I've just been told guys that we have just missed the geezer blowing and it's not going to blow again for like 90 minutes. 
by which time the sun would have set and uh, it will be quite dark. I'm still gonna, we're still gonna watch it and uh, hopefully film it, but I think that means we should stay here tonight and find somewhere cool to park up and then uh, stick around a little bit tomorrow and explore this area because it is just phenomenally beautiful. And uh, it'd be such a shame to rush on and drive. And we're not in a massive rush driving, so I think we've got time. I think we can afford to stop. It's just gone 8 p.m. and uh, Old Faithful is about to go. Oh, oh he is. He's about to go. He's splashing. He's splashing. He's beginning to splash. Oh. I need this. Oh, Oi. Oh my sack, Louis, look at that. That is high. Whoa. That's going way higher than I thought. Where's it? Where's it? I want to do We have walked to a little bar slash restaurant. We're going to grab some dinner. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. It gets cold here at night, guys. It's warm in the day, but at night it gets cold. We have sat down to an amazing meal. I got some hummus. Me and Dave both got a little hummus place, actually. And um, I got this, which is um, a linguine, vegan linguine with soy chicken, a soy chicken substitute. And Dave got some, um, what are those guys? Waffle fries. Yeah, waffle fries, man. Yes, bruv. A lot of them. <laughs> guys, we are all snuggled up in the Wonder Wagon. And uh, I'm quite tired. I still haven't adjusted to um, the right time zone, but it's okay, it's okay. Um, but we have just been loving being back on the road and um, yeah, I just think for me it's something that I really miss. When I'm in one place for too long, I actually can't wait to start exploring again and um, going to new places. And I think that's why I'm really looking forward to this week because we are going to be doing a lot of that just driving around and finding cool things to do. Um, you looking forward to that, Dave? Yeah, I can't wait. Well, this has been sick today. It's totally sick seeing the old geezer. Yeah, love that geezer. Tomorrow morning, though, he'll be better. Yeah, he'll be even better. I'm going to slam over that guy. But also, Lake Tahoe. Can't wait for that. I've never been. Yeah, Lake Tahoe is on one of the destinations. And then I think, um, I think we're going through Idaho and there'll be some beautiful things there as Idaho. well. I'm hoping I'm a little bit more um, energetic one night and can do a, a time lapse, a star lapse of the incredible sky because I took it to photo just now and it was pretty amazing. Um, but <laughs> I, am, I can't stay up all night taking photos, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it's going to be incredible. And I would just encourage you guys, um, even if it's just somewhere nearby, but somewhere you haven't been to before, um, just to go on a little adventure and just to go to new places and for me I think that well for me that that's changed a lot the more new places I've been to I think you just learn a lot about the world around you and and you kind of catch that bug for traveling and adventure and um, yeah I'd, I'd highly recommend explore, exploration of the world um, Amen yeah Right, we're gonna we're gonna snuggle up and get some sleep, and we're probably both gonna get quite uh, get up quite early, and make the most of the day. I'll see you then. Peace out. Enjoy life. And live the adventure. Boom.